In terms of the way we're looking at the world here, I put it together in four T's. Number one is tariffs, and that is what is the impact on which business, what sector. We're conditioned to be concerned about a tariff war. From my point of view, I think the positive is that Trump is trying to reduce the amount of dollars that the U.S. gives to the global economy. $350 billion trade deficit to China is an important、uh, element as to how we're trying to neutralize that impact. The second T is the 10-year bond, and that is what is going to happen to the multiple on interest rates that we see, and I think that's a negative over the next five years. And that is today's EBITDA multiple that companies are being bought and sold at will not be sustained. The third part is obviously taxes. The United States has a new tax regime, and it's territorial, not global, which is very positive in the sense that it allows companies to say, "Hey, I want to be in the U.S. because there's no tax disadvantage." I, as a buyer of equipment, can take 100% depreciation. So whether I'm a dentist or whether I'm a farmer, I benefit substantially. And、the fourth one is technology, and the driver of technology as the U.S. continues to evolve as a service-based economy, and the use of technology to drive productivity, particularly when you have the millennials and Gen Z using it. So those are the four elements that combine to create a very attractive environment for investments. I'm kind of looking at the markets long term over the next ten years. I think you can make a return of six to eight percent for the next twelve months. I think the market just has a lot of old normal volatility. Mr. Market goes up and down. As long as we don't have some dislocation from a geopolitical point of view, I think we'll be in the, north of a three percent.